Nola Jet here at the Old Mill Restaurant in Pigeon Forge. Yeah. Welcome to Nola Jet. Let the good times roll. The Old Mill Restaurant is quite a popular tourist destination in the Pigeon Forge, Tennessee area. It's located right on the Little Pigeon River, and the old mill that it's located in dates back to 1830. The restaurant was started back in 1993, so it's been around for a good number of years, but it's new to me, and this is my first visit to it. And this is quite a popular tourist area with all sorts of tourist things all around it. The Old Mill Restaurant is part of the Old Mill Square Complex. There's one other restaurant at this complex, the Old Mill Pottery House Cafe and Grill, and then it also contains Pigeon River Pottery, the Old Mill Farmhouse Kitchen, Old Mill Candy Kitchen, Old Mill General Store, Old Mill Creamery for ice cream, and the Old Forge Distillery. I'll have a video that includes the Old Forge Distillery as part of my moonshine tour, and when that video is ready, I will put a link to it in the upper right hand corner with the eye of the circle around it, so look for that. This view here is looking down from the Old Mill restaurant. The other views were from the street looking at the restaurant. So this is what you can see when you're standing on the rail on the restaurant waiting to get inside. So this is a pretty large restaurant and they have a lot of people that come to eat here daily. And they also have quite a large parking lot right here. So there is a lot of parking, that's the good news. And then you're right here next to the Little Pigeon River. So that's also a scenic thing to see. So this is where we have to go in the middle there to go upstairs up a long winding rail to get our name in for the list. Uh, the wait they were telling us on the day that I visited was around 45 minutes, but they actually got us in a bit quicker than that. So I'm coming in here to meet my friend Major and his family for some lunch. So we're gonna have to walk up this long rail system here. And as we go up this rail system, they actually have quite a few interesting things to look at as you journey up. So you do have some things to do while you're waiting around to get your name called out on the loudspeaker. So they don't do any kind of a phone or buzzer system here. They just call your name out. And look, here are the pumpkin people decorating everything out ready for Thanksgiving. They do have quite a few Thanksgiving decorations. It's uh, right here at the end of September and beginning of October when I'm visiting. So they also have some more tourist brochures there. And as we continue up the ramp, they have little uh, placards with information uh, on them right here. Here's a couple that we'll look at. This first one involves farming the frontier, and you can just pause these if you want to read more details into them. The second one is about how Pigeon Forge got the name Pigeon Forge, and it involves passenger pigeons and iron forges. And they have several of these around to read, so you can get a history lesson and for Thanksgiving decorations, of course. So they definitely have a lot to keep you entertained while you wait around to get your name called over the loudspeaker. Now, I had actually already put my name on the list and they had already called my name, so I'm gonna be able to go straight in and go to my seat because everybody else already got in and grabbed a seat while I was out here filming this footage. So we're just going to walk right inside the restaurant right here and take a look around. Oh look, we found the Major! And my menu is already waiting for me, so let's take a look at the delicious options here. So, we've got our Southern Style Specialties, Homemade Meatloaf, Southern Style Ground Round, Southern Country Fried Steak, Southern Fried Country Ham, Sugar Cured City Ham, Country Fried Boneless Pork Chops, Southern Fried Chicken Lovers, Southern Fried Beef Liver and Onions, Barbecue Platter, Southern style pot roast and gravy, southern fried chicken, 
grilled boneless chicken breast, old mill chicken and dumplings, deep south chicken pot pie, traditional turkey and dressing, southern fried chicken tenders. Ooh, that all sounds great. Then we have from the water with southern fried catfish, spicy broiled catfish, grilled shrimp, fried gulf shrimp, fresh English mountain rainbow trout. I did fish at the English mountain rainbow trout farm. So check out my video on that. There'll be a link to the playlist at the end of this video. And that will be on my Smoky Mountain playlist. Next we have burgers and special sandwiches with American Burger, Original American Club Sandwich, Hot Roast Beef Sandwich, Grilled Reuben, Grilled Chicken Sandwich, and they have a children's menu. And then we have a hot turkey sandwich, a country ham sandwich, a chicken salad sandwich, and a barbecue pork sandwich, and our beverages, and homemade dessert. Then they have luncheon salads and fruit plates with an old mill tossed salad, a fresh fruit plate, and homemade soups, pinto beans, homemade vegetable beef, southern style corn chowder, and savory vegetable entrees with stir fried vegetables, vegetable quiche, vegetable plate. And all of your entrees here come with a complimentary cup of their corn chowder soup and the corn fritters. And here's my corn chowder right now. It looks pretty darn good. And here's the corn fritters, but they only gave us one biscuit. This is going to be a problem. Who's going to grab it first? It wasn't me. I got a corn fritter and the corn chowder, but no biscuit. Oh, corn fritter. Well, butter on the uh, corn fritter now. <laughs> Maple butter. Just go ahead and smash that subscribe button too while you're thinking about it. The corn chowder. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I just need a little crab in it. It would be perfect. We'd be back in New Orleans, a little pork crab chowder. I don't like the and my entree arrived. I got the country fried steak with sweet potato casserole and broccoli casserole. That looks great. The turkey and dressing was also popular at the table, as was the grilled chicken salad. So the saw looks really great. Let's dig in. Our, our, okay, I'll just give you some of it. I'll just ask for it. Okay, yeah, just ask for Just go ahead and stab that subscribe button and that like button right now, won't you? Sweet potato casserole. Wow. Broccoli casserole. Use more cheese in here. The country fried steak. The crust is not very uh, chickeny, crunchy. 
crunchy crusty. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button to keep getting notifications of new content from Nola Gent and give this video a thumbs up and I'd appreciate it. Broccoli casserole, still needs more cheese. What was that? So everybody at the table was really happy with their food, including myself. I really loved all of the food I had, except for the broccoli casserole. It was just okay because it needed more cheese. I didn't have enough room left for the desserts, but the desserts did look fantastic, and I'd love to come back here sometime and try them out. The total for my meal was $14.88 before tip, which was a great value, and I really look forward to coming back to eat here again. So make sure you come and visit and eat at the Old Mill Restaurant in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.